The Psychopath Test, A Journey Through the Madness Industry is a non-fiction book written by John Ronson, published in 2011. It delves into the realm of psychopathy and explores the concept of diagnosing psychopaths within the mental health field. The book takes readers on a fascinating journey as Ronson investigates the nature of psychopathy, the validity of the diagnostic tools used, and the implications of labeling someone as a psychopath. Ronson begins by recounting his chance encounter with a mysterious package, a book that contains a chapter written by a diagnosed psychopath. Intrigued by this encounter, he sets out to understand what makes a person a psychopath and whether psychopathy is a legitimate mental disorder. He delves into the work of influential psychologist Dr. Robert Hare, who developed the Hare Psychopathy Checklist Revised, a widely used diagnostic tool. To better comprehend psychopathy, Ronson interviews a range of individuals, from diagnosed psychopaths to psychiatrists, researchers, and those working in the criminal justice system. He visits Broadmoor, a high-security psychiatric hospital in England, where he meets Tony, an inmate who claims to be faking his psychopathy diagnosis. Ronson explores the notion of masking psychopathic traits and questions the accuracy of diagnosing someone solely based on observable behaviors. In his quest for knowledge, Ronson also meets influential figures like Al Dunlap, a former CEO known for his ruthless business practices, and Toto Constant, a Haitian warlord accused of committing atrocities. These encounters blur the line between psychopathy and success, raising questions about the overlap between psychopathic traits and traits commonly associated with high-achieving individuals. Ronson explores the controversies surrounding the diagnosis of psychopathy and the potential for misdiagnosis or overdiagnosis. He delves into the history of psychiatry, discussing the influence of the diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders and the power dynamics within the psychiatric profession. Ronson reveals how labeling individuals as psychopaths can have profound consequences, both for those diagnosed and for society's perception of them. The psychopath test also delves into the commercialization of mental health, where pharmaceutical companies and the self-help industry capitalize on the fear and fascination surrounding psychopathy. Ronson investigates the case of Scientologist-driven organizations that promote alternative therapies for psychopathy, exploring the ethical implications and the potential harm caused by these unproven treatments. Throughout the book, Ronson interweaves personal anecdotes and thought-provoking stories, providing a captivating narrative that exposes the complexities of psychopathy and challenges commonly held beliefs. He navigates the fine line between empathy and fascination, highlighting the human tendency to label and categorize others, especially those we perceive as other or different. In conclusion, The Psychopath Test is a meticulously researched and engaging exploration of psychopathy, mental health diagnosis, and the industry that surrounds it. Ronson's investigative journey offers readers a deep understanding of psychopathy's nuances, the controversy surrounding its diagnosis, and the profound implications of labeling individuals as psychopaths. The book encourages readers to question societal perceptions, confront their own biases, and challenge the inherent subjectivity in diagnosing complex mental disorders.